to transfer data from your old phone to new Z Fold 6. If the old phone is an Android, you need to download the Samsung Smart Switch mobile app. On iPhone, don't download anything. On the new Z Fold 6, we need to also download the Samsung Smart Switch mobile app. If your Z Fold 6 is on the setup screen, then head to the Copy Apps and Data and tap Next, and that is the same as opening the Samsung Smart Switch mobile. So what we need to do now is we're going to select the Receive Data option, and then we'll select OK. We then need to choose our source. So I will select the Galaxy, I'll explain iPhone in a second. So for Galaxy or Android, we can connect the two devices via the cable, or we can do a wireless data transfer. With iPhone or iPad, you can only connect with the charging cable. So let's attempt to connect the old phone to the new Z Fold 6. And we'll select the cable option and get the charging cable you use to charge the Z Fold 6, connect one end to the Z Fold 6, and try and connect the other end to your old Android or Samsung. If it connects, excellent. If not, you need to buy a USB-C to micro USB port if you're connecting from Z Fold 6 to old Android. If you're connecting to iPhone and the cable isn't connecting, you buy a USB-C to a lightning cable on Amazon. Now, when it comes to the old Android device, it will show choose an app. You select smart switch just once and then you tap the send data option and then it will connect like that. And once we tap connect one more time, it will search for the data. On iPhone, once it connects, it will ask to trust the connection. So on the iPhone, select the trust and then enter in your login and then tap next once you have trusted the connection and it will search for the data. If you're transferring from an old iPhone, then your new messages won't appear on the Z Fold 6 until you do this. Head to your settings, and then go and find your messages settings. So if I don't see messages here, we'll tap on apps. So we'll find messages here. And it's very important that you turn off iMessage. So just tap that toggle to turn off iMessage. Otherwise, you won't receive messages on your Z Fold 6. Also make sure your old SIM card is in your iPhone when you do this. Regardless of you know what your old phone is connected to the Z Fold 6, we see select data to transfer. So you have everything uh, on Samsung. If your old phone is a Samsung as well, it will literally move everything on you know other Androids. It will move most stuff, but there'll be some limitations. On iPhone, a lot less is moved over. You can also select custom to manually choose what you would like to transfer. With WhatsApp, you have to open the WhatsApp app to scan a QR code to transfer, but it will give you step-by-step -step instructions in the smart switch. So tap next when you're happy, and then it will do the data transfer. Now with iPhone users, iCloud stuff like iCloud, you know, notes and some of the photos too, they won't actually move over. So what you do instead to access those documents, head to iCloud.com on the Z Fold 6 and sign in. Once signed in, just tap the option you want. So let's say the photos. It will show you photos here. And then if we tap the three lines, what we can do is we're able to add this page to our home screen. So we'll tap add page to home screen, add, and then you can always access your iCloud photos just like this, and it works as a uh, standalone app. You can select all your photos, and if you tap the triple dots here, you have the download option, but I have 30,000 photos, so I'm not going to do that. 